The laws of supply and demand are pretty simple, and they actually haven't changed since cavemen traded fishing spears for fur. It's pretty simple. Lots of demand, little supply, higher prices. Lots of supply, little demand, lower prices. Climate change warriors would like you to believe, though, that those laws don't apply to electric vehicles. Case in point, as we told you Monday, Ford recently cut prices for their electric F-150 by up to $10,000. This after prices were cut by Tesla, which cut the price of some models by $3,000. Others by a lot more, Chevrolet, Hyundai, and Nissan, have all lowered prices as well. The laws of supply and demand tell us manufacturers lower prices because people aren't buying electric vehicles. But oh no, say analysts, price cuts are good because people still love electric vehicles. I think the market overall is heating up, obviously. Electric vehicles are the future. Tom Aoli's here. Uh, he is right here next to us. You might remember he predicted the EV inventory glut and price cuts going all the way back to January. We're hitting a brick wall. We can't sell these cars. They're taking electric cars back because we can't sell them. You know, they're coming in the showrooms. They don't want electric. Everyone's afraid of electric. The infrastructure's not there. The grid can't handle it. Tom's back with us now. Look, okay, there was a time that you couldn't get your hand on a Tesla, right? There was a waiting list for a year. Like, like now, they can't, now they can't give them away. Now they can't give them away. You know, listen, uh, the consumer is not buying into it. The infrastructure is not there. You know, Biden uh, went around the, uh, the laws and created this uh, 2035 mandate. What he did is he went to the EPA, and the AP, EPA put this mandate out, and the, they really did it illegally. You know, the, there's a... Uh, and the, this EPA mandate is the idea that you've, what is it, two-thirds of all cars by 2035 have to be electric, Correct. but we don't have anywhere close to the electrical grid capacity, we did this last week, yes. to charge a third of America's cars with electric. Correct. And, you know, the infrastructure is not there. The, you know, and, and I was just down in Washington and, and had some meetings with some senators and congressmen, and we were talking about this. You know, there's a national security issue because the minerals that for these batteries are coming from China. They control 90 percent of the yep. minerals. And what we're going to do is we're going to give away our transportation system. We already gave away our microchip uh, business. We're going to give away our transportation system to China. The consumers are coming in. They don't want electric cars. They take them for a ride. They're concerned. They have range anxiety. There's nowhere to charge them. And Leland, I have to tell you the funniest thing. When I was in Washington, well, I sat in Congress. We, we talked to Congress. We spoke to the Speaker of the House. And he said, I wouldn't drive an electric car. And he said, I have to tell you something. There's not an electric charger in, in the Capitol. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we, we can all agree, and I think, you know, you've talked about it, how the, the prices for gas cars are now going up. The demand for gas cars is going yes. up. We can all agree if we can use less gas, great, it's cheaper, and we can export more of it, on and on and on and on. I, the Wall Street Journal made a great point that there's such a push now for electric vehicles and a complete lack of research funding subsidies for hybrids that use what one ninetieth of the rare earth minerals save gas and people will buy. Correct. And, you know, listen, a hybrid, you can plug into a, a regular outlet in your home. You know, these electric chargers, when you have to put them in your home, we're talking ten, twelve thousand dollars $12,000 for a consumer. On top of the fact that the, the vehicle's ten dollars to $12,000 higher, that's $25,000 more to drive an electric vehicle. And when you break down the cost savings, it's not there. All right, so the Wall Street Journal ran this piece as, a, as an explainer about what's happening. Take a listen. Sticker price cuts across a company's lineup or on a specific vehicle are quite rare in the auto industry, though not unheard of. Tesla and Ford's price cuts surprised many in the industry because EV prices have been steadily increasing for the last year or so. Is there any other way to explain the price cuts yep. other than people don't want the cars? Yeah, it's demand. You, listen, you said it in the beginning of this segment. It's, it's supply and demand. There's supply. You know, when, when Tesla got in the marketplace, it was Tesla. Now every manufacturer geared up for this 2035 mandate, and they went out and they, they started producing electric vehicles and building factories for electric vehicles. And now the, the, the parking lots of these dealerships, I own them. I own six or seven dealerships. They're filled with electric vehicles. No one wants them the supply there's too much supply and not enough demand it's really simple you, i mean b basically what you said in the beginning of the segment. it's so easy a caveman could understand it we, ha we have it right there when people come in and are buying gas cars and you say look you know i mean it's going to use gas and i can sell you an electric car for cheaper and you're going to save the environment what do they say 
there's no place to charge it. They're afraid. You know, you pull up to a charger. It takes you 20 minutes to get your battery to 80 percent. And if you want to get to 100 yeah, percent, takes... it's, it's almost an hour. So you're going to you're going to stand in line. If someone's in front of you charging, what do you do? Sit there and wait. And, you know, when when you have a long trip, it just doesn't work. Yeah, it's great to see you in person. Pleasure. You... Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.